Welcome, from Joanna. Uh, today we're going to do a um, in-service training on um, setting up the Pluravac infant drainage system. For purposes of this in-service, we're going to go through the um, equipment that you need to gather, the policy that is available for you to refer to, um, and then we will walk through setting the system up. Uh, first and foremost, any time that you have an infant that's going to need either a thoracentesis or a chest tube set up, you would refer to our nursing policy, NICU C8. Um, and in here it has your um, policy and procedures that you would need to follow, and it also has the steps on how to set this system up. Um, but today we're going to walk you through setting this system up and make sure that you feel confident at the end of this um, training session. So gathering your equipment for this is actually a very straightforward um, procedure. You need your sterile water and you need the Pluravac um, infant chest drainage unit. This can be found in your um, neighborhood supply rooms. Um, and this is what it looks like before you open it. And it has all the equipment and everything. So those are the items that you need. So this here is your drainage system, the Pluravac infant um, unit. This system has um, three chambers that you need to be familiar with. It has the suction control chamber, which is um, basically what the provider orders, how much water is the centimeters to um, water suction. And we're going to go through setting that up, but just so you're familiar with the suction control chamber, then your water seal chamber is the, um, the second chamber that we will fill to this line. Um, and we will walk through what that looks like with um, having air evacuated and with a, um, um, a pneuma that's still um, happening. And then the collection chamber is your last chamber here. And this um, is where you would have fluid um, drainage and you would need to make sure that you're keeping track of the amount, the color. Um, and this, in our unit, we don't see a lot of drainage unless you're dealing with the baby with the chylothorax or sometimes our post-op. But you need to be familiar that that's what that chamber is. Um, the ports to this are labeled for teaching purposes, um, but you need to know that when you open up your package, it's not labeled. Um, so this port here, is what goes to the wall section, and we're going to walk through that, but just so you see, this goes to our, um, our wall section. This port is what goes to the baby, it connects right to the chest tube, and we'll go through that when we set up um, the system. Um, and those, those are really the two ports that you need to uh, make sure go to the right connections. Um, in this um, system, you can also, um, due to sometimes you have evaporation, if the baby has this um, unit on for a few days, um, you can actually either um, inject more water or pull off if you happen to put too much in. You also have, I'll show you in the back, a place where you can draw um, um, labs. If you do have something that has a drain, you know, you're draining and you need to send something off to lab, you can actually pull off the fluid from there. So that basically is the, the unit description. With the unit, there's a, uh, an insert that also tells you what each part is, um, and that is within the, um, the unit package when you open it. But for today's purposes, we'd like to really just kind of, kind of clarify what chamber does what and what the um, parts to the um, Pluravac system are. So that's what it looks like set up, um, and I think for next steps, we'll go to actually walking through um, setting up the package. So on the back, you can actually just peel to open. And again, like I mentioned, the insert will be here to identify each um, port and chamber. Um, but again, it's very good to get familiar with that. Okay, Joanna, so now we're going to um, open up our Pluravac um, system and go through setting it up. Like any procedure, you want to make sure you have performed hand hygiene. Um, and you want to be wearing gloves and make sure that you know this is a clean technique, but when we're connecting the chest tube um, set up to the baby's chest tube, that tip is sterile, and we'll, we'll go through that, but um, make sure we have performed hand hygiene and we're going to be um, wearing our gloves for this procedure. So I'm going to open this up. your drainage system out. And just to note, um, the back has um, some very important items that you want to make sure that you don't throw out inadvertently. Um, it actually has a funnel attached to it 
Um, I'm just gonna move this. Goes to the patient, so this needs to stay sterile. We'll go over that. Um, it has a funnel here that you wanna make sure it doesn't get thrown out inadvertently because that's what we're going to use to fill our um, water seal chamber. Um, and you also have an adapter here, so if you do need an adapter when you're setting up a chest tube, that is also in the back. So you just wanna make sure that those items are, um, are there um, and that they don't get thrown out inadvertently. So I'm gonna take my funnel because I'm gonna need that to fill my chambers. And this just taped to the sides. So that you need your funnel, your sterile water, and then your system. So like I was saying before, it's a little easier to see it set up, but when you take it out of the package, you kind of want to just make sure that you're familiar with each port. So this port here, this first port, is what we're connecting to the baby. So again, just for purposes of making sure you know, this blue tip is keeping the end of that um, drainage system sterile. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. Right now. And then this port here is the first thing we're going to do is fill this water seal chamber that we talked about with um, up to the two centimeter um, water line. Okay, so I'm going to put my funnel on. eyeball, kind of, um, I'm feeling right here, can you see right to this black um, two centimeter line. And you could actually help me and let me know when it gets there because right. the funnel fills up sometimes quicker than the, the chamber. Almost on tip stop. Yep. So just to make sure your procedure goes smoothly, you remember now this is a closed system but we're going to use this part, it's going to be what goes to the wall, this, the wall section. Okay, so it's got kind of a two dual purpose. So we, I'm going to take that off. That's going to go to the wall section. The next chamber that will fill is the centimeters of water suction chamber. This, like I was saying, is what the provider orders, the centimeters of water. Uh, usually it's uh, 15 to 20, um, but you would obviously confirm that with the order. There is a vented... Um, a oh, there we go, vacuum um, opening here. So you just have to kind of pull that out, and that opening is where you're going to fill um, up to the 20 centimeters. Let's say our order is 20. Depending on your hand-eye coordination, it's, you could either pour it right in there, or if you want to use the funnel, that's another way you could just fill this up, and I will ask for your assistance in telling me when, oops, when the um, water reaches the 20 centimeters mark. And then just make sure you close your the atmospheric vent um, cap. Make sure that's tightly closed. And to note, just, just to kind of benchmark where how much water we've actually put in, even though that is up to 20 centimeters of water suction, and then that two centimeters um, we've used close to 500. Um, okay. So you'd make sure you get a full container of sterile water. Okay, so Joanna, now that we've um, prepared our drainage system, we're going to set it up to the suction into the baby's chest tube. There are two um, handles that um, allow us to hang this on the, um, the bedside and also make sure that it's always lower than the baby's chest. Mm -hmm. um, so for, to keep it, the tip sterile, what I do, um, what you're supposed to do is have this suction set up to this water seal chamber. So that's there. Okay. And now you're going to um, get your chest, your the tube that goes to the baby's um, chest tube ready. So again, we've we've been um, 
you know, we've done our hand hygiene, they're keeping this aseptic. That being said, this end needs to stay sterile. So because we're connecting this to the turkle chest tube, I'm going to um, pull off this end. And then the provider who is sterile will be handing me the, um, the tail, the piggy tail that comes off the uh, turkle, and we will connect that right into the chest tube drainage system. And then you want to make sure that this is secure so you're not, it's not pulling on the baby. So now that we've connected the drainage system, we're going to turn on the wall suction. And the suction amount here is not really what the suction control is at. It's at the centimeters of water suction that you have put in, um, which the provider has ordered. So I only have this at 20. Now what you can see, if we go back to kind of going over our chambers, is a nice rolling bubble in this suction control chamber. You can see that. That will always be... Um, that should always have a, a kind of a constant rolling bubble. But we also have um, a, a very present pneumothorax because this is um, air that's bubbling, so it's being you know evacuated. So right now, you would certainly make sure that the provider knows and the team knows that you do have an active pneumothorax. Um, if the new baby has been um, you know successfully evacuated and the um, the pneumo is resolving, then you're gonna, what you should see is more of, um, this should be, again, constant bubble. And here, where this is, should be still, okay? You're gonna see some residual bubbling here, and that's just because this um, system is, you know, it's, you're gonna have a little shaking. That side's just residual from here. But if you notice, this side here is still, or sometimes what you'll see is a quick little once in a while, if it's just starting to resolve, you may see something like, you know, quick little um, blurbs of, of um, air. But right now, this baby is mostly resolved new. Okay, so this chamber is always bubbling. This chamber, we hope, is, is not once the evacuation and pneumo has resolved.